Hey guys, it's been a really tough week for me. I'm in the middle of the moving house and hard rubbish is on in my area. So my life's gotten pretty cluttered. But I just wanted to show you guys some of the garbage that I have kept for myself. I can't believe someone was throwing it away. There's a matching armchair, but it is used as drying at the moment. I've been collecting material, curtains, um, blankets, sheets, carpets, uh, all sorts of things to make all sorts of things with you guys. You'll have to forgive me if this, this week is a little bit Lower energy, because I'm exhausted. But I promised, I promised to give away. So I'm gonna make something to give away. I actually promised the giveaway at 500 followers, but I've hit over 700 <laughs> since I've made that promise. So uh, it's a little bit, it's a bit, bit late, but I mean only by a, a few weeks. But I'm excited to make it for you. And I'll show you what I'm going to use. This is going to be a hand sewn project. I'm already dreading it. All hand sewn. But for you guys it's worth it. It's worth it. I'm using my best, and by best I mean oldest, uh, cotton thread. This is this is my favorite thread, but my machine hates it, so it's the perfect time to use it. And I know you're all waiting to see what fabric. Can you see it? It's kind of shimmery and shiny. It's got these fun little circles. Here's the video of me finding this fabric. Let's do it. this late Victorian little stole. Now it is beaver fur and I don't approve of animal furs uh, being used in fashion but I also don't approve of animal furs that have previously been used in fashion to go to waste. I think that it's important to preserve and live on and make the death of an animal as meaningful as you possibly can. Uh, that's just how I operate. I mean, some people will have different opinions, but this I've had for a little while. And I've wanted to reproduce it, but I don't wear female clothing anymore. But giving it to you is perfect because then I can do whatever I want and then I can get rid of it. It's your problem now. That's my gift to you. So I'm going to make my pattern of this and then I'm going to sew it and then I'm going to send it to whoever the random name generator at the end of this video generates the name of. Mm -hmm. So watch out for that. All right, let's get cracking I guess. In the spirit of um, getting rid of things that I do not want anymore, I'm using this horrible orange fabric to mark out my patterns. So it looks to be simple enough to 
little patterns. One will be two bits of the fur, or the couch, and then one will be one bit of the fur, and then one bit of the something. And I'm not sure what that something is yet. I'm gonna have to have a look through my hordes of things that I also have and try and find something suitable for it. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna cut these out and then I'm gonna get to work on the collar because I think that's gonna take the most time. Okay, so when you've got a pattern piece and you've just freehanded it like I have, you'll wanna be folding it in half and making sure that the symmetry follows along. There's a little bit of a discrepancy here. So just make it even. Like, my whole thing is not replication of garments, you know? There is no replicating here. I can't do it. I could do it. I easily could do it, but I don't want to do it. It's about taking something bizarre, giving it the energy of something else, is, is what I see. So now that's actually symmetrical, I can go ahead and cut it out of the, the real fabric. Um, when I cut out my pattern pieces, I've left uh, about a centimetre for you inch people, I'm sorry. About half an inch, I guess, of allowance. Now, this thing is very small on me. It doesn't close, obviously. It's for a Victorian woman, and I am not a Victorian woman. So, I am considering trying to enlarge it a little bit, but maybe that's silly because it's not for me. But I think most people's sizing is bigger than a Victorian woman. A, you know, a cliche Victorian woman, you know, a very tiny, tiny thing. I don't know. <sighs> Leave it with me. So here's a hot tip when cutting out your own pieces of fabric. After you've cut out the first one, abandon the pattern. Just flip this one the other way and um, cut it out that way. It just ends up usually with a, a result that actually works. So, my phone hates me and is kind of broken, but um, what you've missed since I recorded the last bit of footage, which then got deleted, is I'm pad stitching. Pad stitching. Um, I'm using a leftover bit from a headboard that I cut up. Uh, I was trying to find my canvas, but I couldn't find it for whatever reason. Um, but I mean, I've, I've pad stitched with unconventional things before and it does kind of work as long as there's a little bit of structure in the material so that's what I'm gonna be doing now okay so we're great start to the great start to the footage so I finished the pad stitching on these and it's looking like it's gonna really sit really nicely with that. It wants to fold over and all that kind of stuff. Um, <clears throat> so that's really good. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do, pin together the exterior of it and then I'm going to finish the interior and then I'm just gonna, like a pillowcase, zip around it. I think that's the easiest way to do this. For the lining, I found this, I think it's sateen that I've had forever. So I thought, why not? It's not a... It's not a jarring, put-together kind of moment. Put them together. So all around the top the top and the sides flip it like a pillowcase yes i'm not gonna film that it's here well 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 it's coming together 
the pad stitch collar actually worked so well. Maybe even better than the original. Um, so now I've just got to get this all looking nice. And then I'm gonna add some buttons or something. I don't know yet. We'll go find out. <laughs> um, P.S. This will be washed again before you get it. So my greasy, dirty, um, well, it's actually fresh washed today, which is why it's a fluffy. Um, hair and skin will not be touching your beautiful, um, immaculate, dainty, um, you know, newborn-esque skin. So don't worry about that. Okay, so I'm gonna be honest. Um, I forgot to put in anything to fasten this because I've never been able to fasten mine. So I'm gonna put something in, but it might look a little janky. So, as a special treat, YouTuber. That doesn't work. Did it work? Hello? Look. Ooh. Yeah. That's right, I'm treating you to a really blurry button. Um, no, I just got a whole heap of these in and it's part of broke, so you're all gonna get it. It's mother of pearl. It's really nice. It's pretty. It's vintage. I don't know from when. Yours now. Oh well. Um, it's finished. My mantle, or one of your mantles, is done. I don't know why anyone would want this, but I hope you do. Um. It turned out really nice too. So I ended up just whipping all the way along the bottom and that seemed to have made it really quite nice. Okay, it looks terrible on me. <clears throat> so, now I'm going to instead put a heart hat. To be honest, this is the easiest thing I've ever made. So I think, um, I think one of you would be able to make it too. So much so that I am going to send you another person, my glamorous pattern pieces, and um, the rest of this couch coming at ya. So you too can make this if you want. You'll want to. Um, and if you do, please, please show it to me. Oh my gosh. Hi guys, it's editing me. Uh, in all of the fun and mishigas of filming and editing this video so far, I have not yet done the uh, draw for who has been saddled with this. <laughs> um, well, that's a lie, because I just did it then. Uh, but first, I really, really want to give a huge shout out to everyone who uh, hashtag it's all garbage and showed me what you've saved or what you've created with unconventional things. You guys make rubbish look insanely cool. Um, and I just wanted to show you guys uh, some of my favorites. So the first one is Lana D, who made these bags and cases out of actual rubbish, like chip wrappers, and lolly wrappers, hats off to you because that is stuff that even I'm not saving. So 
they look amazing please go follow them on instagram they are making really cool stuff uh it's seemingly all the time they've made more today so absolute hats off to Yolana. they look amazing the other that i wanted to mention before getting to the draw winner who i also want to mention is uh the incredible work from velvet letter let's put her over here so. when i first saw this picture i was like oh oh no they haven't got the message like it's meant to be made out of garbage it's meant to like oh oh it used to be a jacket now it's a bodice that is incredible 10 out of 10 i'm inspired by you keep it up oh my goodness keep it up keep it up and please follow follow them as well now the winner of this giveaway is My camera died. As I was saying, <laughs> the winner of this giveaway is the one and only Auspicious Potato, who blew me away with this incredible suit. Chainmail made out of soda can tabs. Are you kidding me? You either have way too much time on your hands or much more likely than that, just the right amount of time. Blows my mind the lengths that you guys went to not throw something away. And that's what we're all about here. So ding, 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 ding. You're a winner, baby. I'll be in your Instagram DMs to try and get some some place to send it to you know and if you don't want it give me someone else's address um like over the other side of the world and they'll be very confused when they open the package of course there is the matter of the second much worse giveaway because i'm literally sending you scraps of fabric cut into a shape and part of a couch in the mail but you're gonna get it anyway uh Starlight in her hair. Sent in this out of, is it tablecloth? It's some kind of very pretty material. And I'll be watching to see what that ends up being. And then after that project, you're gonna have to sew up some couch stuff that I gave you. <laughs> you're welcome. Um, so yeah, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for 700 subscribers. You have no idea what that means to me. I never thought it would happen. And look, I'm glad that you guys are interested in this journey on not throwing stuff away and making something new. So just for you, I'm going to keep doing it. <laughs> and of course, when I hit 1000 subscribers, you're all going to have to endure me giving away something again. So there's that to look forward to as well. <laughs> Thanks you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.